Hello my friends, we are at a brand new store to me and to you guys here because I'm bringing this to you for the first time and it's called a nifty thrifty thrift store and right off the bat when we pulled up in the driveway I saw this beauty right here spotted it right through the doors before we even walked in so I headed straight to it of course because I collect Hyrax and this was in fantastic shape and I do have another piece that has this pattern so you bet I had to bring this one home with me today and it has been placed here in my hutch and it looks absolutely stunning now it has been a good while since i have bought a piece of pyrex they are so pricey but i will let you know my total spend here today at the end on everything that i got and i think you'll be a little blown away by the price that i got on that piece of pyrex so really happy to add it to my collection in my hutch I caught him walking away very slightly. That's like, okay. I didn't think I knew what he was of course, I had to check this piece out here as well too, but it did have some wear on it. You can kind of see that there, and it had a pretty big little scratch or gash in it as well, so I did decide to go ahead and leave that. In today's video, you're going to hear some voiceover and some also, and some also, and also some live shopping. I was just trying to change it up a little bit. It was very tight quarters in here, as you can see, and there was just stuff piled everywhere. So when I was filming, I was really trying trying to concentrate on not knocking anything over. So we're gonna do a combination of both today. I really do hope that you enjoy this video. I will share my haul with you as you have already seen, and I hope it gives you some ideas and some inspiration for your home. Maybe you'll see something in the video that you would have loved to bring home, and let me know that down in the comments. I would love to hear. I definitely thought this thermos here was pretty cool, but I'm pretty sure that it is missing its top, so I did go ahead and decide to leave this here. I do like to collect the thermoses though, but I did decide to leave this one here because it seemed as though it was missing its top. Now, I only shop when I'm thrifting and antiquing and everything at flea markets and yard sales for myself, for my home, so I do not resell. So if you do see some things in the video and you were like, ah, you could have made a lot of money on that, that is why I did not pick it up and I'm really really trying to limit what I pick up because you can acquire a lot of stuff here I'm just checking out this plate because if you have seen my home I have my plate wall in my dining room where I do collect those plates but I do already have the cheesecake plate so I did go ahead also and leave that one there today This right here I was checking out, I thought it was very pretty, but when I turned it over, it did have a barcode on it and a little sticker that it was made in China. I do really wish it was more vintage because I think it would have looked pretty in our bedroom. And we are still working on our bedroom. We're actually waiting right now on our bed and our mattress and box spring to come. So we are making progress in there. I am looking here at this one because I'm collecting the vintage cookie cutters for a Christmas tree that I'm going to be decorating coming up for Christmas. So speaking of that, join our family. Subscribe today if you have not yet, if you love all kinds of fall decorating and Christmas decorating, because I'm going to start decorating beginning of August and those videos will be coming. Here I'm just showing you this clip right here. Look at all that amazing stuff up there at the top, all the Pyrex. I kind of called that little area right there, like when you go to a thrift store and they set the vintage stuff aside or the hand-picked stuff in a certain section. That's kind of what that was up there on top. There were tons of great pieces up there. Well, right here I'm trying to dig out these apples because I am looking for 
apples for my fall decorating video. So again, subscribe today if you have not yet, if you enjoyed those types of videos. I did go ahead and pick these up. Now I'm not showing you how I'm using them in my home right now because that will be coming up very, very soon. They did have some wear on them, but I can just kind of display them, you know, that part of it down so that you cannot see it. And I got some wooden ones here and some plastic ones as well. So pretty good stop right here on the apples that I've been looking for. Now these Roseville bowls right here were absolutely beautiful and they didn't even look like they had been used and I believe there were three or four there. We just don't use that in our home so I did leave them there. And then those little salt crocs are adorable. Now this mirror right here I actually contemplated for a while. I wasn't crazy about the color of it but I did like the shape of it for a vanity in the bedroom. It did have some wear on it though and I don't need another project to get into so I did decide to go ahead and leave that one there. In every one of my videos this year we are doing a commenter shout out and our commenter shout out today goes to Debbie Holder. Hi Missy, love this video. After watching it, I decided to watch your house tour that you suggested. It was a great tour and I left you a big comment on it. I'm letting you know it on this video so you can go back and check it on your older video. If you ever come across in really older country living magazines, possibly late 70s and early 80s, buy them. These are not the skinny magazines filled with advertisements. They are thick and chock-a-block full of decorating your style. Keep up the great work, sweetheart, and thank you so very much, Debbie. I really Really appreciate it and I am so happy that you are here and I will definitely keep my eye out for those. This Santa guy right here is fantastic. I'm going to see if I can get him down and take a look at him a little closer. I feel like I have to have this guy in my life. I wanted to bring home that Santa Claus that you just saw so much, but then the more I thought about it, I thought, oh no. My kitty cats will be all over that. We have four fur babies and they definitely would not have left that Santa alone and then I would have been so sad for something to have happened to it. So I really hope he goes to a really nice home because he was adorable. I absolutely loved him. Now we're getting back here towards the back where they did have some Christmas stuff, Halloween, but you really got to dig and you really got to look, but some really neat stuff back here. This book right here, Bambi's Children, I don't believe I have ever seen this book before, but I thought the cover art on it was fantastic, and it was by Random House. So let me know, guys, have you ever seen these before, or did you have them growing up? Let me know down in the comments. There's, have you ever seen a store with so much stuff in it? Never. Never. And she gets stuff from estate sales? Foreclosures. Foreclosures, and sales like that. estate sales. And she says she's low on stuff right now. Wow. says usually more. Wow. Okay, so you've spotted some shiny brights down there. It's I really hard to, to film back okay. here because it's so dark. Is this? Okay. Oh, hold on. Shiny bright golds. All right, hold on. Yeah, it does say shiny bright. I hope it's coming through. And those are gold. New York, New York on the back right there. This, this looks like a whole set right here. Yeah, and... But even just like the sides of the boxes are pretty. Mm -hmm. I wish they were red and green. Yeah. But the sides of the boxes are pretty. 
Mm -hmm. There you go. It looks like they open up. These do? It looks like it. Yeah. Because here's Isn't the it? bottom of one. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, they got little yolks inside of them. <laughs> <laughs> what is it now? What it's does it say on the It's a play school toy. Come on, counting oh, eggs. I was just checking. I can't get you. Come on. People jump over my nest. Oh. Because <laughs> I got to go through that part and get it back. Counting eggs. I almost need that for my vintage toy display, don't yeah. you? Mm-hmm. Like my vintage toy display for Christmas. No, I totally. I wish it had all of them, all but of them, still. But yeah. I did grab up these counting eggs, and they are absolutely adorable, and they are going to be perfect for my vintage Christmas display. You can see there now that you can see the egg carton full. So what did I do there? Did I actually find the other eggs, or did I come up with a crafty solution? It was really cute. On the insides of them, they had the numbers. So there are little pegs on each one that you open up, and it counts up to 12. So that is why they are called counting eggs. But that right there are eggs that I have those right there are eggs that I had in my collection from Easter. You know the ones that I have shown you before in my kitchen that you paint. So I just went ahead and stuck a couple of those in there and it looks like a full set now. Do you remember this movie right here? You've got mail. Because there's just stuff everywhere. Mm -hmm. 98 cents. I think it says handcrafted in Japan. <laughs> Those are really whimsical looking in the face. They are. Remember, stay tuned until the end of the video and I will share my total spend with you today. I can't share prices with you throughout because nothing was priced in here. She simply gave you a price after you picked it up. Luke, I am your father. I have a couple of these right here in my collection. They look really pretty during the holidays if you want to use them with lights inside of them that kind of glow through all of those little openings. And they look really great to use as like a candle centerpiece. You put the candle in the middle and then the greenery around it. Here I'm getting distracted by everything that I'm seeing. And then I spotted this right here. The vintage red and green is going to get me every time. And I thought this set right here was nice. and. What I really liked about it was the side of the box, actually. I'm not sure that this is how it really would have come uh, or came. I can't get anything right today in my talking, but still really cute. That does look like the original wire, but I did go ahead and bring this one home today because as you can see, I'm kind of in the fall Christmas thrifting mode right now. So I did decide to bring this home. This is something else that I'm going to use for Christmas decorating. And again, my intention is to kind of use it so that you can see the side of the box because I really felt like that was really pretty and that Santa is really cute on there too. This thermos, of course, I had to check out, but it was plastic, so I did decide to go ahead and leave that one here today also. The 
doesn't this little girl right here have the sweetest little face? I just thought she had the cutest little face. She does say made in Taiwan, if you can see there. It was really hard to get the camera to focus in here because it was already dark. And then there were things stacked up all over the place. So a lot of the windows were kind of half covered as well. But I thought she was really cute and she was hiding down there, down below where the thermos was. little mini coffee grinder. I saw these and I thought this little funnel. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this little funnel was nice. That is cute. Cute little funnel. Yeah, it's hard to... <laughs> I think you could look through a hundred times and not see everything. I did contemplate bringing these blocks home for my vintage toys, vintage Christmas displays. I'm thinking about doing, or I'm planning to do, a vintage wrapping and Christmas toys display. And I had thought about bringing those home, but I did already have the eggs. And I wanted to, like I said, kind of limit what I was getting because I want to be very particular on what I get. And of course, the counting eggs is perfect for me right now with getting our chickens this year. And it's perfect with my home decor in general because I have a lot of farm decor. These are really cute. I don't know if they work. These little uh, candles. These are different, yeah. I feel like they could be used for fall and Christmas. But I don't know if they work. I don't know where I can find an outlet. It's a little glittery, but still really cute. So what was my total spend today? $21. That's right. I got all four pieces, including the Pyrex for $21. So excited. Please go ahead, check out the video right now on your screen. I spent $153.26 thrifting and antiquing for fall decor last week in Amish country. Take care.